has tackled many challenges in his fighting life, and he faces another big one tonight in Japanese striker Takeya Mitsugaki. Right, ready? Let's go Mitsugaki and Escobedo, and we are underway. White trunks for the Apache Kid, black trunks for Mitsugaki, and a combination early, changed levels, and then came with the hook. Again, Mike Mitsugaki's got very, very sharp boxing skills, but he's mixing it up more, using more kicking techniques in his last few fights. But, uh, forward, yep, Joe. Yeah, his strength is his boxing, and of course his aggression on his chin. And Cole just, and, yeah, and Cole just uh, also tried to test Mitsugaki's chin with the knee. Cole's very good in the clinch here, and Cole will pull guard as well if he wants to take it to the ground. Nice knee. Nice. Very nice. Turn of the hip. And Mitsugaki wants out of there immediately. Mitsugaki likes to leave with his right a lot, Joe. Yeah, he's got a good straight right, a straight right lead. A Again. good left hook as well. He leads with that sometimes as well. Led with the right uppercut that time. Minute into this fight, scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Again, it's almost like he uses his right hand as his jab. Good jab by Escovito, stepping into it. Let's see who lets the legs go earlier. There you go, right on cue. Good switch kick to the inside. Well, Escovito has a bit of a length advantage, Mike, and he prefers to throw a lot of kicks. Throws more kicks than Mitsugaki. I would think that that would be to his best interest. He just landed a nice knee. And Mitsugaki initiates the clinch here. And Escobedo, very good off his back, so he wouldn't really seem to be too cautious about throwing kicks and have Mitsugaki take him down. Yeah, that's a good point. It's one of the reasons why Cole has such a wicked guard. It's one of the reasons why he's so comfortable throwing high kicks. Trying to gain control and work from this position. A couple of shoulders both ways. The guy has a good guard. It's such an, uh, an advantage with his kicking techniques because they're not worried about being taken down. Absolutely. And especially in a stylistic matchup as this as well. Cole's got the tie clinch here. Let's see if he can get loose and pull away and let go of it. Oh, big right hand got in there by Mitsugaki. Mitsugaki leans down just for a second for a leg. And now he's pushed up against the fence. Good control. Very nicely done. He takes Cole down. Half guard. Now watch out for the triangle. And Cole immediately gets the full guard. And Mitsugaki doesn't want none of that. Nice trip. And see right how he tripped him, him on yep. his way out? Very nicely done by Escovito. Nice knee by Escovito. He's had a couple of nice knees, Joe, in this position, has Escovito. Just over two on the clock in round one. Nice elbow as well. And that shows you why Escovito's not afraid to be on his back or pull guard. Look at that. And there he pulls it. He's going straight up to a triangle, Mike. He's climbing him with a triangle. Oh, look at nicely done by Mitsugaki. Nice. Notice how he shook him. Yep. He jumped up and down to get him down like that. And he ends up in top position, full guard for Cole Escobedo. Full guard with his head pressed up against the post there, too. So it's going to be very difficult for him to uh, adjust and get a better position. He's trying. He turns a corner to do so, but Mitsugaki pulls out of there immediately. He gets right, right out of there. Head kick, head kick. He's fired. But it just goes to show you how confident. Escobedo is in his triangle. To the midsection on that lead right again. That's the first strike that Mitsugaki threw. He followed it up with a hook earlier in the round, inside leg kick. Escobedo's gonna try to work that lead leg and try to get out of the way of those in the process. Mitsugaki, see how he leans back there, Joe. Nice he's trying to work body. against the clinch. Yeah, and did that very well. Body shot by Escobedo. And Mitsugaki again. Is and again. Initiating the clinch. Oh, a lot of nice turning his hip. Turns his hip, hit with the side of the knee. Yeah. And again, you really get some torque when you do that. Nice elbow as well. Someone's oh, nice fight. elbow. And to the midsection by Mitsugaki. But when you can turn that hip on those low shots, a couple of quick uppercuts land and another oh. big elbow that was a big one Mike yeah. that one buckled him his legs are still wobbly and a nice straight right by Escobedo nice left by Escobedo Head goes kick. to the high kick under 30 seconds on the clock here in round one
Good short elbows utilized by Cole Escovito in this first round. There's that two, three. And again to the body. And again oh, to the body. That one hurt him, Mike. That shot to the body might have taken a lot of wind out of him. Both men worked the body yeah, very well in round one. He's taking some big, deep breaths that tightened him up. He hit it well, but I believe that one tightened him up. He's gonna hit you with knees. Watch out for that. Be careful. Move. His right's gonna come. You know why you get cut? Because he's gonna hit you. It's easier for him to punch you. Put pressure on him. Okay? Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. This is early. Mitsugaki connects with a nice left hook, steps in with it. And here Cole gets that Muay Thai clinch. And Escovito is eating some shots here. And there's a Let's nice go. elbow by Escovito and a counter left by Mitsugaki. And then another nice elbow by Escovito. Escovito works some nice tight elbows and some nice tight knees to the body in that round as well. Let's go to work. Looks Let's very go. well from the clinch. Round two is underway. Let's see if Mitsugaki tries to avoid the clinch game. Caught that kick, brought him to the ground, but he's hesitant to go into that guard, and perhaps wisely so. Let's go, guys. We've got to work. Escovito back up. 14 career wins for Mitsugaki, 17 for Escovito, the first ever 145 pound champion in the WEC. We've seen a lot of guys throw their hands, Joe, and I can't think of anybody who, you know, is, is an orthodox fighter who leads with his right more than Mitsugaki does. Watch those kicks. Escovito answers the inside leg kick from Mitsugaki. Nice kick. Good timing by Mitsugaki, though. He's looking for that right hand counter. Another big body shot. And, you know, these guys might weigh in at 135, but there is plenty of power in this bantamweight division. They throw hard and they swing for the fences. Now he mixes it up, and it's that lead left hook that you talked about, Joe, a second ago. To the body again. Nice kick by Escovito. He's getting that kick off, but Mitsugaki is clearly looking to eat that kick and counter. And Cole has got to be careful because as he's... Oh, oh nice head kick. Put that one on his ear. Caught him a little bit with the foot. And that's why Mitsugaki able to step through it. Nearing the midway point of this fight. Again, he looks for the head kick. Winding up with these kicks, Mike. Nice left to the body. He's landed at least a half a dozen of those. And he had some decent knees to the body as well earlier in this fight. Two and a half on the clock, round two. Oh, beautiful uppercut left hook combination there. Lead right again from Mitsugaki. Not a whole lot of one-two in his game, but highly effective with those body shots. Again to the body. And he's finding that opening on the five, down to the body. Escovito, a big swing. Oh. Mitsugaki doesn't want to mess with Escovito's guard. Yeah, Mitsugaki showing a lot of respect. Yep. He's starting to slowly pick apart Escovito in this round. He has definitely been the aggressor the last two minutes of this fight. Again with the hook. 
Yeah, he's uh, in the right. And the uppercut. Cut. Over oh. the top. Oh, he's teeing off here. And Cole and knee. is holding on to that clinch for dear life. He doesn't want to let it go. But he's taking some shots. Another short left. Great work as they started to clinch. Move inside, over, outside. And do a lot of damage to Cole Escovito. Really good round for Mitsugaki. Nice elbow. And again with the hook. Cole is getting teed off on in these exchanges. He's got to move. He's got to create angles. He can't just stand right in front of Mitsugaki. And he certainly can't hold on to that tie clinch while Mitsugaki's punching him. Oh, he's hurt. In the first hurt, round, Mike. he got the better of the tie clinch. But now Mitsugaki really utilizing it well. Oh, he got Looking to there. finish this fight right here. Takeya Mitsugaki. Oh! And Cole's still in there swinging, but he's Another getting hurt. Another punch. He's down. And it is all over. Takeya Mitsugaki finishes Cole Escovito here in the second round. The power punches and the accuracy. And the of Takeya Mitsugaki. And that the was, accumulation. Yeah. And he, he, you know what? Cole Miller made some, excuse me, Cole Escovito made some big mistakes in that. And one of them was letting him tee off while he was trying to hold on to that clinch. He took some shots that he really didn't recover from. And there's a big left hook that put him down. And the referee had seen it up. Let's take a look at it again. There's a left hook, and then another, and then a right hand, and then a big left hook. And that's the one that put Escovito on his back. Thank you, Bash. It was Escovito failing to keep the distance from Mitsugaki, failing to give angles, and allowing Mitsugaki to tee off when he tried the, to work that tie clinch, Mike. The Apache Kid defeated by Takeya Mitsugaki here tonight in Denver. And he had pinpoint accuracy throughout this fight. Nice uppercut, Yeah, Joe. beautiful left hook behind it as well. It's the, really his punches were the secret to this fight. Very accurate. And there was the, in that tie clinch where Mitsugaki just went all around, underneath the arms, over and top, over the top, under everything. Just excellent job of countering that tie clinch and really put a beating on Cole Escovito in that clinch. That's that close in hand fighting. And they see the tie clinch bounce yep. off the ground because he was badly hurt by that left hook. Mitsugaki the winner with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Adam Martinez has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Takeya Mizugaki.